Petco Park here on a Tuesday night. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the San Diego Padres. It's baseball. It's the show, Ladies and it and comes your there. way next. Your San Diego Padres. Yu Darvish, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? You know, Matt, this guy pitched awfully well in his last one. A no decision, even though he pitched eight complete innings. If the offense can score him some runs in this one, he has a pretty good chance to pick up the victory. Now to bat, Kevin Newman. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Kevin Newman. Hey, no one down First here. pitch of the A.B. on its way. First pitch, 7 10. Awfully oh, close with the line. slider there, but it's 1-1. One one. Guys, the swing and Friars as they take the field here tonight. 4-2 over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four out of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Kevin Newman is retired to lead off the ball game. In now, Anthony Alford as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground to second. And there's out number two. Bases are empty here with two away. And up next is Key Brian Hayes. First pitch on its way. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Down in order go the Pirates. And now the Padres get there. Mitch Keller is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, listen, you don't have to know much about statistics to know that this is a bad one. How about this guy on the year as a starting pitcher? He's out. Left. Three. Ball four, take the That's ball four. Your attention, please. Next, here is Hugh Darvish. And the Padres go. trying to make this no first picture. inning even better Hugh. here. Go, go. From the stretch. Count 1-0. Oh. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their ball, last seven. Yeah, Maddie, the way this team has been playing, to put that four spot up in the top of the first inning, yep, that, that is a out. godsend right now. They need this pitcher to go out, execute, throw a donut up so they can get back nope. in Outside. and start swinging the bats again. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Fouled off. The three two picks. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. So next to bat will be Tommy Pham. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Racing back the left fielder. And it's gone. Under the lower basket of the Western Metal Building. Visiting 
team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. now. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. We got no outs here. Darvish pauses. Here's the first pitch. Ball, that took good. Frazier, or the Todd Father, as he's affectionately called. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, Whoa, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches oh. the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Now with the plate is Gregory Polanco, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Hits this one hard the other way, and the base hit is that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Look at him fight to stay inside that baseball and push it in a 5.5 hole. That's the Tony Gwynn spot. So now it's Brian Reynolds left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. That finds the zone a cold strike. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Meets high as he makes the catch. Well done. Off the bat, that had soft base hit written all over it but a nice snag there by the infielder on that soft liner that could have been a potential base hit. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Still without a home run and three driven in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Pirates leave one. They're on the short end of an 8 nothing score. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. And he and one. swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. I love everything this nope. pitcher's got working that's right that. now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. He's got it. Throw to first oh. in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Digging in next, Sean Poppin. And now the first pitch. Grounded to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him oh. two down. All right, so let's turn to show track for a more in-depth look at that one. Good reaction, great range, and a nice backhanded stop, and a jump throw with a lot behind it all the way across the infield for the out. The numbers don't lie, and that was pretty spectacular. At the plate, oh, Kevin Newman as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Bottom of the third now, and the pitcher bats next. That'll be you, Darvish. No pitcher. You. 
Darvin. First pitch of the A.B. now. Mm, a little tardy oh, there. Oh, no balls and a strike. Right here. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Oh, two, and he gets count. him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Oh, hey, Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. The count. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. The one two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Polanco has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. Three. Ow. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Anthony Alford. Get ahead, stay ahead right now. Anthony. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. The 0 1 on its way. Q shot here out towards short. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Key Brian Hayes digging in now. From the stretch. And he fouls this one off. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Nope. And he pumps the fastball by him one here. Two. One and two now. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounded. Two, two and two. two the count. Looking to punch him out again. Pitch. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He can't get there in time. And now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. You can see that he was all over that pitch, yanking it down the line. They're lucky that thing bounced over the fence because if it would have got lost in the corner out there, there's no telling how far he could have got. Todd Frazier stands in as he looks at ball one here. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. That evens it up 1 and 1. Hit hard to short. Scooped up. And there are two away now. Here's Gregory Polanco. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. One and oh, the count. And it's fouled away. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back-to-back -back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Lifted into center field. I got it. Hi, hi. Grisham makes the catch to end the inning. One left for Pittsburgh. They're looking up at a 9-0 deficit. Digging in will be you Darvish. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Looking to minimize the damage here. Pitch popped up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, including the home run. All set for the start of the inning. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Brian Reynolds. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he pours this one into the letters 0 and 1. Fouled away. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Stepping in once again is Eric Gonzalez. Second base. 
Eric. Now the first pitch. Hey. All right, come on now. One out, nobody on. That's a ball. ball one as he lays off one below ball, the zone. Two straight. Fouled off. Another one two delivery. And he two won't ball. go after the two cut strike. fastball. Two and two. Now a swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. Now into the box, Jacob Stallings. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pitch on the way. Nope. Just a bit Ball high one. with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Ball one, no strike. Two out, nobody on. Yeah. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation hey. of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Weak roller right side. Reined in. And he'll step He's on out. the bag himself, and the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Ladies and gentlemen, the for Pittsburgh. Number 19. Following. Boy. Slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. The average sits at 294, four home runs, and 22 RBI. No, that's a ball and a strike. Come on, guys. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So now into the box is Kevin Newman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now it'll be Anthony Alford. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one by the look on the manager. Well, the side is retired as they make the play. Down in order go the Pirates. They trail in this one. Seventh inning ready to roll and set to go as the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. First offering. And ball, ball, ball one and oh. That's a ball. Two and oh now. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Next to dig in, Todd Frazier. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. First pitch on its way. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly on the first, and it's a quick start to the seventh, as now there are two away. So stepping in is Gregory Polanco. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. Now the first pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They trail in this one. 
Next up is you Darvish. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something no with pitcher. the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ball, that that pitch and that misses for ball one. Swinging a blooper to the right side. In there, a base hit. Into the box, Tommy Pham. Now he launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Darvish, base runner at first with one out. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. And at the plate is Jake Cronenworth. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Padres leave one, but they lead it 11 to nothing. Leading off the pistol, the center fielder, Brian Lodo. Got no one out now. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Outside, now a that's fastball a ball. off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Eight. Taken, Two. but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 1 2. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and there's his first base hit in this one. With that, the Buckos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there, or probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last oh, A-B in this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, we're going to have to do it right now. Eric Gonzalez is in for the third time as he looks at a ball high. It's 1-0. Breaking Two ball that time, strike. it misses out of the hey, zone. Nobody, away. nobody out, runner on first. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. And this throw gets away from him. up and takes care of it two away Adam Frazier who will look for some two out Frazier magic here as he'll pinch hit with Double two gone 26. and a runner at first Adam Darvish pauses here's the pitch now a swinging bunt here's a guy who could use a three for four he's got that batting average still down in the 190s one home Whoa, run okay. and seven driven in. One and one the count now. And he fouls this one off. So far this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches. 
very little traffic on the bases so far. He couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. And another foul ball. And it wouldn't be a game in Southern California without the obligatory beach ball sighting as this one makes its way onto the field. And this one's in the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And that'll hurt as the runner will move into scoring position now. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Pirates leave one. They trail in this one 11 to Kevin Newman starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. First offering on its way. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Chased out of his zone there, and he's down two strikes. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Fam lanes to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now to the plate. Here is Anthony Alford. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Anthony Alford. He's set. Here it comes. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. And this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. And now here is Key Brian Haynes. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. First delivery to him. In there, 0-1. 0-1's the count. Two out, nobody on. And this will be a called strike two. And nope. trouble now okay. as they're down to their final strike tonight. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. A swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. Wow, not only a complete game square in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was a total man from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 13 nothing. Ending that really set them up well. Hugh Darvish earns win number four on the season, and it's a dandy, a complete game, three hit performance. Mitch Keller permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Time of the ball game. Three hours.